hello you're welcome to analyst media in today's video i'm going to show you how you can show up your multi view and use your keyboard as a switcher board let's say you don't have any kind of atm or let's say you have switcher you want to switch between cameras using your software which is obs software for live streaming and you want to switch between the scenes and cameras you've connected through a cam link if you connected like a two cameras or three cameras through obs for live streaming switch or whatever and i'll show you how to use your multi view and your keyboard as a switcher board on your extended screen okay so you can extend your screen like this you can see that i've extended my screen and i think this is very cool here we rise and shine to lift his name through And I use this project. I think this project is, is like uh, professionally using a TM or whatever, but it's just the keyboard and the standard screen. This is not a professional tools I use, but a keyboard. Now, let's go ahead and show up the multi view after extending your desktop screen or let's say TV screen. But I normally advise you to use a TV screen. I think TV screen is normally like a professional. Okay, so this is how I've connected my this thing to my pc so let's go ahead and show up the mods create your scenes so so this is my for me here this is my main source which is the solo and the pictures so this is my camera one camera two i'm just using this video as cameras okay so this is my bible here if i open bible to show up here now this is my camera and this is my whatever so i'll go ahead and show all this thing on a hack keys if you go to settings, this is what you're gonna see for you to give out a hack key to switch between the cameras on the multi view. Okay, so let's go to the next point. And the next point is let's go ahead and show up the multi view. Okay, so this is my standard screen, so this is my main screen. You can see that here. So this is the standard screen, this is the main screen. So let's go ahead and click on the main source. Okay, where so view, click on the view, go to the multi view full screen okay so if you click on the full screen it will show you two options here this is the main screen this is the extended screen okay or your tv screen whatever you've connected from the vg or agmi so this is it so click on that and it will show the multi view on that screen okay so this is a multi view here you can see that here if you click on it to show up here so let's go okay so after this let's go ahead and set up our keyboard for a switch of now i have a scenes here which is main source camera one camera two camera three to bible i'm going to give out a hacky to that scenes for me to switch in a simple way okay so you can also give out a key to this transition for you not to click on the transition before you can go to the output okay you can see that now um let's go to settings just click on settings okay so settings will show up here yeah so and go to hack keys okay so hack keys this is where you are going to find out your scenes you've created okay so for me first thing i have to do is i'll give out a transition key so i'll just click on that transition or i'll just click on that key or to transit to the output okay so transition i'll give out f1 i think normally i'll advise you to use the function keys because if you just use a b c or w or whatever or the other keys i think whenever you are typing or doing something on the keyboard i think it will just distract you so if you give out a let's say a and you are typing and you place down a automatically to switch to the scene i think that that's how it works obs doesn't have any kind of selecting the application before even if you are typing in obs i think that's how it's going to work so we'll normally use the function keys okay so use the function keys and the function keys to obs can control by f2 and f11 if you're trying to select something and you click on f2 i think it will automatically rename the scene or the source so don't use f2 and f11 will also minimize or maximize the the obs so don't use f11 the rest it's, it's free to use so i'll use f1 as a transition so that's it and this is my transition for f1 you can click on apply or you finish it before now let's go to the next scene i think the bible is showing here first but i think i can have it here at the last but don't worry 
So my Bible will show up when I give out a F. Let uh, me give F7. Okay, so F7 for my Bible. Now camera one. I think in here I have name it as camera one. I think that's where my first camera is. So I, I can give out F3, any kind of key of the function key. Okay, but I don't use F11 and F2. Now let's go to camera two. Let me find out here where is camera two here. So this is my camera too and these are all the sources inside the camera but you can also give out any kind of key to turn it off and on on the inside the scene okay so that's all now I'll show you in the next video i'll show you how to do that okay so my camera 2 also use f4 okay then camera 3 f i want to use uh, camera 3 f5 okay so the main source so i've named this as a main source i'll show up a picture or solo or whatever there on the main so i think that one to be uh let's see if we should finish the show then you can give it like that so f uh, i want to use f6 for that good f6 for my main source f7 for my bible and f4 or f3 to f5 for my cameras yes i'm having three cameras here and click on apply click on ok and this is going to work perfectly if you look at the multi view here look at the multi view you can see that here then Go ahead and look at the main screen too so i'll just click on any kind of key that i've, I've just typed in here so my f3 is my camera one right so f3 f4 f5 these are my cameras here i'm just using this video as camera source okay so f5 f let me just play the video and see let me just play a video okay you can see that here let me just play this this camera here let me just switch them so f5 f4 f3 then f1 switch now i'm just using the move transition yeah? so let me change it i want to change to cut okay so let me stop the video i think it's lagging here i'm just stop the videos good now you can see that here so i'm using cut so don't worry f4 f5 then f1 switch then f6 will switch to the main source i've, I've created so this is my picture i want to show up here so f7 is my bible and i'm not having a bible here so f3 i think f1 will show up f2 f4 which is my camera 2 f1 will show up f5 and it's very simple there's no lagging here there's no if you have let's say 16 gig ram or whatever i think it's always to always switch better and cool for you i think this is very simple here and you want to change if you want to change the transition name or transition if you want to change it just go to the scene transition here if you don't if you don't find out the scene transition here, just go to i think dogs uh, dogs or and then you click on the scene transition so if you go to dogs you can find out where the scene transition is so on your on your main screen this scene transition here just go ahead and click on this one and change the scene okay and the move move transition i use is a plugin so you can go to the obs.com and download it or i'll post it in the description for you to download so this move to let me just switch that it's very simple look at that oh, nice nice here so change it i will change it to fade so fade if you change your fade it automatically you can see that here fade you can also give out the duration for the for this transition okay so i'll change to let's say slide slide here you can see that here slide and i think it's very simple okay so let's go and change the slide to let's say luma wipe i think you can change the what do i want to do here luma wipe i think you can give out the duration and that's how this is how you can give out a like, hack keys to a keyboard and switch like a professional you can see that so we are the voice behind the scenes telling a story through powerful screens from lens to light we share his grace in every shot we find our place lights on kingdom called we stand to serve this is very simple on obs and i think in the next video i'm going to show you more on this 
video okay so i'm going to show you more and i'll also show you how i connected the, the tv screen also okay so this is this is how you can do a multi-view screen switching without switcher without anything it's very simple on obs okay boom thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing watch out for the next video Craft with vision, we speak through art, creating moments that stir the heart. Every post and every stream carries the echo of heaven's dream.